Yeah, so if you have an overhead view, I'll, I'll show you the tips of kind of the things that are available. Basically, there's a chisel tip, you know, just like any other bone chisel. And there's a little gouge tip, like you see here, it's kind of rounded. Um, these are different, good for different situations. With this one, you can kind of make like a dotted line on the lateral recess, score it, and then go in with a kerosene and bite off the lateral recess in one big chunk of bone. If you do this as the ligamentum, kind of the last bit of ligamentum attached to the lateral recess, and you thin that out with a high-speed burr, you can score it like a piece of glass, break it off, and now you've got a handle for the ligamentum. So you grab the bone rather than try to grab the squishy ligament, and the ligament goes with the piece of bone, which is nice. Uh, the gouge is good for over the top when you're trying to get the undersurface of the lamina contralaterally or the, or the uh, ligamentum contralaterally because it sort of like takes little shoestring bits of um, bone off and peels the ligamentum right off the undersurface of the lamina. Uh, you can do that ipsilateral or contralateral, and you can actually undercut your lamina so that even though you haven't exposed all the bone posteriorly, you can, you can do an undercut and get the piece of a ligament out and bone up higher. Okay. You want to swap around? Uh, I don't care. So, Ray, in the interest of time, I know it's going to be Scandal. really tough to take Scandal. all the flavum off, but maybe you can just show an example of both uses. So, step one is we'll put some fluid on and figure out where the heck we are. Hmm. Looks like there's the cage. Exiting, Exiting the root. Slide. Slide. Slide still there. There's a remnant of biportal equipment. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this looks like some bone here. I have no idea where we are. It looks like it's a, I think he was doing some of the so end this is plate where, maybe. This is where uh, Chol was kind of trimming. So this is sort of like whatever level this is at. This is like the leading edge of the lamina. Here's the ligament attaching right here. Right. Hey, Ray, can you focus the camera a little bit? We can't really see. I would love to. I have no idea how to. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right. So you can see where kind of the bone scalpel was going in there. So uh, here's, here's some soft stuff, ligament, ligament, bone. So this is the leading edge of the lamina here. We're on the uh, left. So what we'd really like to do is go up to the caudal edge of the other lamina, but the remnant is still here and now is totally in my way. <laughs> <laughs> Cheapers, creepers. All right. John's still doing the debate. So. <laughs> <laughs> <Just> sabotage. <laughs> so here's, here's some bone. Okay. No, nope, that's not bone. I was better a second ago. There, okay, here you go. Here's a little bit of bone. Nice bone. Have, have the pituitary real quick. That's bone. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> I'm just gonna. I'm gonna just show you how to remove some bone because you know where you do it is less important than how you do it. So you can see like. You've got some, some soft tissue attachment here. L looks like some sort of ligament and there's some, and there's some bone. This is a good spot for the uh, gouge. So what I can do is lose my place. There we go. <laughs> Come right down here with the gouge. Lay it right against the bone. You have a mallet. So a little bit of bone there. Mallet. So I have, I like, you have unbelievable control with this. You can feel when you go through. <clears throat> Here's a little bit of bone right there. So Ray, Knocked. for, for some for person, people who've never used an osteotome, do you recommend them using x-ray to confirm, make sure they're not going to do anything wrong? Or do you think it's a more I mean, feel thing? If, if you don't know where you are anatomically, you shouldn't be cutting things anyway. So <laughs> this is, this is kind of, it's best used when you, when you use your, um, Maybe a kerosene so I can <laughs> nibble this big piece out. Thank you. When, you. when you've done your drilling 
and you know the drills are round on the tip, so it's hard to flatten out the, the last bit of it. Um, and this just kind of lets you break off a big piece. This is best, best done in an inner laminar space when there's attachment of ligamentum. And they can find one other spot that has something like that. Let's come down here. Here's some bone. You got a straight one? I'll take a straight one. So this is kind of where, where Chol was going after it. This does the exact same thing. And you can feel where the release is on the backside. So when it goes through, it releases. You spin it, and it breaks off in one big chunk, pituitary. So Thank Ray, you, sir. you mentioned you, that. You see that piece of bone? Hold on a sec. Yep. See that piece of bone? This is not long enough. I can't reach. I need a longer pituitary. Thank you. So now I grab that piece of bone, <clears throat> and I'm going to pull this out. No, no, I got I got to pull the whole thing out because it won't it won't fit through the. There we go. So you see the piece of bone and ligament that we got out? Yeah. You know, when you're, you're futzing mm -hmm. around trying to bite ligament, you leave the piece of bone attached to the ligament like this, and we grab the piece of bone, and the whole ligament comes out with it. So it makes it a lot easier. Uh, you do have control over this when you're going through because uh, you, can, you can feel when the, when the osteotome goes through the backside of the bone if you're trying to cut through a bone completely. If you're going contralateral side, you're going obliquely above and lateral to the traversing route, so it's a very safe place if you overpass. And the reality is, is here we go. So Ray, I think here's a little bone. Here's a mallet. I think this uh, is this is old school. If you want to do ultrasonic, I think you did a good demonstration. <laughs> I think you did a good demonstration of, of, uh, of both techniques. And just, just to kind of uh, close it out, because we have to go to the lab soon, uh, just say you said you'd use the gouge more when you're kind of more proximal on the, on the contralateral side, or? So if you're trying to cut a long piece of bone, like the, if you're trying to cut the medial edge something? of the superior articular process where the ligament's attached, the straight uh, osteotome's good because you can make a dotted line and break it off with the kerosene and, and use it as a handle. If you're if you're if you're trying to uh, remove the ligamentum and undercut the lamina, the gouge is good because you can kind of peel little shoestrings of bone, and then you grab the bone and the whole ligament comes out with it. Kind of like, you know, Do you this mind piece that we took out was like the lateral third in one shot. Do you mind showing us on a quick mo on, a, on a, a bony model so we can just kind of have an idea? There should be a model right there. Oh, okay, sure. And just where yeah, you so put the, where with you a put bony the gouge, model. Don't worry about. It. Um, for the lateral recess, if you use the straight, finishing this lateral recess like this, making little kind of dotted lines that cut just through, and then getting, grabbing a kerosene. Here's, here's a kerosene. And it comes in and breaks that piece off so that you end up grabbing the, grabbing the piece of bone with the, with the ligament attached. You bite it, you break it, and then it becomes a handle for the ligamentum. And then the gouge, uh, where'd the gouge go? Here it is. If when you've got the ligament attaching to the undersurface of the, of the lamina here, if you gouge the undersurface of this with, with the gouge, it kind of peels little strips of bone off. This is particularly good contralaterally. So if you're going contralateral and you're trying to get the tip of the SAP contralaterally, you can put your, um, your gouge in right here and just break these pit pieces off right there, boom. Boom. And since this is shooting lateral to the traversing root, your traversing root's here. Since this is going lateral to it, it's a safe, it's a safe cut even if you plunge a little bit. And it's, it's faster than using a drill. There's no high speed stuff. There's no expense because it's reusable. Um, you know, the only issue is, is that when you cut the bone, sometimes it'll bleed because you're not uh, burnishing it as you're, as you're drilling. Okay, awesome. Well, thank you so much, Ray. That was, that was great.